What's the longest you've ever swam? Mm. Six hours. What do you mean, like? <laughs> you are a liar! <laughs> what you are we talking about? Swimming? Like you in the like, water? You're, your middle name is Lie. <laughs> Why? Why is that funny? Oh, 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 look at his spine. 15 seconds left. You're coming! You're no. coming! Oh my god, you got No, me. I did not! I did not! The You Should Know Podcast. Oh, we're back. It's my favorite episode. You know why? Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 69. Round of applause, please! <laughs> now. That might have been one of the most original round of applause we've ever had. I heard pistachios rattling. I heard whoops going. I see Cam's big head. We got Cam in the building. We got the mama live in the building. We got Auntie Ashlyn in the building. It's a full house of the You Should Know podcast family. If you're new here, if you haven't already, look below. You see a subscribe button. Is it pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Oh. We got some announcements. First of all, summer merch is coming. It's right around the corner. We have most of the mock-ups ready. All we got to do is put them on some merch, and boom, it's out to you. So in the next couple weeks, hopefully, that summer merch will be out to you. And when I say this is the best material, this is the best artwork, this is the best product we have ever put out. Oh, I cannot wait for y'all to see it. Y'all are going to be pleasantly surprised. We have one of the best artists in the world making all this stuff for us. Y'all hear more about it in the coming weeks. I cannot wait for y'all to get that new merch drop. It's going to be beautiful. Also, we've seen several comments saying, what happened to the Spotify video? I love watching the video on Spotify. Well, guess what? It's gone. Just kidding. For a couple weeks, it is gone. Spotify video will be gone for the next couple weeks. We have done great things with the podcast and me and co-host Cam have gotten blessed with an opportunity to do something. Therefore, to make that happen, the Spotify video is off for a couple weeks. So we're going to work our hardest to get that back up but the audio is still going to be on spotify itunes every place you can get audio podcasts and if you're an audio listener and you want to see some funny stuff like visually head over to that youtube video it will be there ready for you i like to say listen to it on audio then come over to video because it's two totally different podcasts guys also the last thing before we get into the rest of the episode patreon is on fire this last week we put out five pieces of content on patreon the koala club is getting a lot of bang for not a lot of bucks i'm telling you patreon is on fire and is going to keep on keep on going we're investing a lot of time energy capital into patreon so we can make it the best thing possible for you all you loyal koala club members thank you so much shout out to the discord shout out to the watch party and now oh, to the rest of the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to unleash the beach beast within you. This summer, Manscaped is here to help you level up your beach game with their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. They're going ways deep in the grooming game and diving head first to your facial hair fantasies. The Beard Hedger is a game changer, allowing you to shape your beard like a true beach babe. So this summer, let the beach balls bounce and turn heads all over the place. Visit manscaped.com, use code PSH for 20% off and Free shipping. Guys, it is time to tame your mane. So say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Woo! It all starts with this puppy right here. <gasps> the first cordless trimmer with a rotary wheel Ooh. that has 20 links all in one guard. That's what I like to call efficiency. It's going to come with beard shampoo, conditioner, oils, a comb, balms. Guys, it has everything so get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code psh at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code psh manscaped beard hedger one stroke one guard 20 links now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast Ooh, we got go host cam back in the studio oh oh my god what is that <laughs> have so you're so spread. I feel like this is like our anniversary you're episode. So spread. That's a, you're you're already on some true stuff, and everyone knows why. They know what episode this is. Don't look at you me so intently, my eyes. You when you to, talk I'm to trying me. to intently tell you to stop. I kind of let's come here. Let's do what we have to. What? You said it. I'm just listening to your instructions. I I. <laughs> that was such a laugh. This is the this is the cam episode. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. 
I'm here to celebrate you. I don't. And want all to. your beautiful attributes, I dog. Don't want to. I don't want to. What's your favorite attribute about How's me? How's your week going? Good. How, what's your favorite attribute about me? Honestly, and I, I I've read the comments right, and I've seen some people getting physical? a little uncomfortable. Physical. Yeah. My favorite physical attribute about you. Stop <laughs> looking at me like that. Favorite physical, physically. What you can do physically for me? A fa my favorite physical attribute Too is. Physically for you. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Uh, I don't. I'm gonna go with your beard. I'm jealous of your beard. That sucks. I'm jealous of you. What do you want me to say? <laughs> like a your long scaly back, <laughs> your your sweaty bend of knees, <laughs> your crooked broken <laughs> fingers. What do you want me to say? Ooh, my name's Cam. I've never put a day of work in my life. Your so nothing's George ever Washington hair. What do you ever, want me to say? It's not that bad today. Look, have you ever broken a bone? No. <laughs> Actually, I, no. I a lot did, about I you. I did. I did. I did. My ankle. Really? Yeah. You've it, never it, broken your ankle. I swear. You can. We can call up Mr. Duke right now. It was it was a hairline fracture, but it still broke. Son, and honestly, that's a fracture. It's different from a break. A fracture is different from a break. Cameron, Cameron, a fracture is different from a break. Why is there two different names? It's the exact same thing. No, a it's not. A break is a break. A fracture is a hair. A break is a break. A fracture is a fracture. Thank you. A fracture so is a break and break. So the two different forms of break, meaning they're both a break. You want to know everything that I. If it was a complete break, someone would say it's completely broken. Fracture means the bone has been fractured. Let's break this down. Broken. All right, Cam's a math teacher. He's a doctor now. He's this, the god of all universes. Or, or we can sum it up as Peyton's dumb. That's a that's a quicker summary. That's a quicker summary. Okay. Peyton loves to try to earn points. Like, first off, our tally right now is like 613 to like 212. Cam, it's because of your pride. Ma I don't think you've ever admitted I'm wrong. I've done it multiple times. I don't. I can't remember. I can't recall. Like two or three episodes ago, I literally what said, what? "Oh, I, I was wrong on that." On what? I was wrong. Oh, I was wrong on the uh, the whole the space thing. But that's what I'm saying. You've never admitted that. I, I admit that I was wrong. I still have no no faith that we've been to the moon. But uh, yes, space is the absence of pressure, okay. not a ton of pressure. Uh, can I name you Sorry, everything bro. I've broken on my body? To, maybe Please, for them. It I could, already know for them. It could it could explain my 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 body build. His creep walk. His, it you said that about me today, and it's honestly ruined the first fifteen minutes of my day. No, I'm not gonna lie. Your walk didn't look hot. It wasn't good. It wasn't a good walk. It it's wasn't a good strut. I have so much ass, right? N no, it wasn't a good strut. <laughs> that it just, I'd venture to say I have more ass than you. We've talked about this since we've known each other. Your ass looks more voluptuous okay, that's due all that to your skinny cricket legs. I also have cornbread fed white boy legs, like <laughs> like like whole milk. So yeah, the ass gotta, just blends you, in with it. I will agree with Why you. Why am I saying this? I'm on your type of time and I don't like it. <laughs> it's episode the fact 69. I just said that doesn't matter. The fact that I just said that for 30 seconds straight is unbelievable. I've broken my all my fingers. <laughs> I've uh, my collarbone, my back. My <laughs> Yo, to break a back is like that's wicked. No, it wasn't off that's of in, that's wicked. It wasn't off of like emotion. Like I didn't like do something to break my back. Oh, I, so you just stood there and got hit with a sledgehammer by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, and there goes Cam again thinking he knows God all universe. No. So, so you weren't in motion. No. Tell us how you broke your back. Growth. I grew at, I grew like seven inches in like everywhere. <laughs> Get off. You're already on demon time. No, I grew seven inches in one summer, right? And so, God, I, I know you're in pain. It oh, hurts so bad. Pain. No, I was in a back brace, and everybody in school called me Turtle Boy. My Because I was in a back brace, and I was really like this. With my tail. Dude, I sucked as a kid, dog. Like, honestly, it takes a lot hey, of perseverance to make it this hey, far. Hey, you had a hell of a grow up, though. Like, a hell of a glow up. My, my, uh... Are you saying I'm pretty now? My, I think my biggest, because when you're tall, I mean, like... A different level of height as we yeah. are. Uh, you have growth spurts and they hurt like hell. Dude, your knees. Oh, mm. I know your knees were killing you. Oh, I've also um, oh my fractured God. my knee. How are you fracturing these compound things? It like was a hyperextension that turned into a fracture. Oh, God. I went up for a rebound and I landed like this. Dog, I'm not going to lie. You grew seven in one summer? In one summer. And my, so my, my growth biggest, plates couldn't go. My biggest go. was three. Like, <laughs> what? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I want you know you know you, oh! <laughs> you want to know what I want to do? What? Not no, actually I don't. I don't. You asked the question. I said no. I want to sit in your parents' living room while they watch this. <laughs> See how they react to this. My mom's huh? like, <gasps> oh, no. oh, Mike, he's taking off his shirt again. <laughs> Mike and my dad's sitting there. 
<laughs> he's just looking. He's just like this. My mom has the TV on 83. Yeah. My dad's like, hey, can you hear it? Because I think our neighbors can. Yeah, my my mom's probably like, it's my stupid ass boy. And then my dad's like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah my dad's like, like, oh, like, I don't know. Yeah, what she look like? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. What she look like? No, speaking of, uh, bro, like, I can't get over that. I'm sorry. I, I, I swear I'm not trying to linger it. What? I was, the amount of pain I was in that summer. Mine was freshman going into sophomore year. Okay. I was like 6'1", went to like 6'4". Yeah. In the summer. You said you went seven in, dude, I would have been like literally crying. Yeah, no. that shit was ultra painful for me. And that was only three inches. I missed the second half of AAU basketball because I couldn't, I couldn't oh stand up God. straight. I was really like this, like all the time. Oh my but God. speaking of like, um, growing up, right? How do you know you grew up, grow up? You know what I mean? Like birthdays. Well, it's like almost, I'm here right now. No, no. And you I'm know 25. what I mean? I was trying to get into the thing, what I was saying, you know, like birthdays is you, you, your next incremental year. Yes. Which is also not true. It's exact, it's, it's as factual as fact can get. How though? If you're born on this day when a whole calendar year passes and that day, you're now one year older. Technically aren't, it, it, so I'm 20, I'm 24, right? Yeah. I'm technically 25. Cause that first year it's zero to one. So I, that's my first year on earth. I hear what you're saying. So I should be 25. Okay. If that's your argument, then I see yeah. what you're saying. But you said it's not even how it works. Well, it's not. But but I was. Ooh. Go ahead. Sorry. What do you, you think people that are born on the leap year day? What is that day again? It's like that's a fa that's a fallacy. No, it's not. We talked about this. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Because I said I had that in football. That kid that said he was like six, but he was 16, and then <laughs> yeah. you were like, that's not how that would work. We talked about this. But what do you think? Like. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so I was going, but you did that. So what? But like, what if someone was born on that day? To where technically, obviously they're growing. They're 16, 17, 18. But yeah. like, their actual birth date, yeah, is only a day every four Stone years. Stone them. <laughs> what? They're witches. All right, you Salem witch trials. <laughs> Stone them just because they're born. Ooh. Okay. I actually saw this question for you. Okay. Is there eight billion different birthdays? Or is there only 365 birthdays? 365. Obviously. You can't have an outstanding she birth. No. You can't have an outstanding birth. Like, what do you, July 12 and a half? Like, what, do you, what does that mean? You've been on Earth. That doesn't mean anything. What? what <laughs> there's 365 days in a year. You're I born on one of those 365, so you're, yeah. there's only 365 birthday variations. But I brought up birthdays because I want to know, do you feel this way on your birthday, right? Let's hear it. Are you ever real sad on your birthday? Oh, yeah. Every birthday I cry. Okay, I'm not that sad. I'm not that sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's internal. Yeah. You, you know? You need to, like, open up your hips and allow that to happen. No, not that way. Oh, okay. Like, you, you're probably storing trauma in your body. No, I've always had pleasant birthdays. Actually, ever since, like, I was, I was out of, like, that age where my parents would be like, happy birthday, and they would throw me a parade. After that, no one's ever done anything special for my birthday. No. That's absolutely not true. I went across the country for you and your birthday. I paid for that. <laughs> but no, 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 no. We okay. We paid for that. But we went. It was fun. Yeah, but I'm saying nothing. I mean, I didn't give you a damn. I didn't take you to the Taj Mahal. No, I'm but saying like nothing. Like I always see these videos of like people's friends. They get them like b birthday surprise party or like stuff. <laughs> birthday surprise party. All right, Brittany. Like I want. I want a cool birthday. I haven't had a cool birthday since I was a kid. Like we got you. Thank you. Next year. But February. now I don't kind of want it anymore because I, I feel like you. I had to ask. I hate you. I just I, I don't want to ask. Dude, that's two weeks in a row. I, I knew that as soon as I said that you were going to counter it. Yeah, I but I want things to just be done for me nicely. It will be. Without me having to ask. You don't have to ask for it. And like I'm getting a house, right? Matter of fact, well. Kind of. Yeah. And so why, why did I have to plan the house party? Because <laughs> if we planned it and you don't want people over, then it's... Well, I live in desolate that's isolation like, that's depression. Like, that's li <laughs> devastated, sweaty loneliness. Yeah. That's like me saying, hey, let's road trip around the country in your Jeep. <laughs> what? No. That's exactly it. No, because it doesn't. But, but if I'm throwing the house party, I have to pay for the dishes. No, you don't. You're just throwing it. It's at your thing. You have created the event. If I said, hey, let's all go across the country in your car. <laughs> that's not how the life works. If you said, if I said, hey, let's all go across country. And okay. you're like in my Jeep. Bing, bada bing, bada boom, <laughs> bingo. I don't, I don't know what, like, you, no, ah, if we, if we said, hey, we're giving you a house party. Yeah. I'd be, thank you guys, you love me. We, but, I can't remember the last time I've looked y'all in the eyes and be like, wow, they love me. Oh, you're lying. So hard lying. <laughs> Name a time. 
Name a t you you know that we love you every day. No, I know you love me. All right then. No, I know that. Like that's not a question. I don't know the last time I've looked you in your soggy little eyes and said, "Oh, you love me." At the desk over there, I showed you a lot of sh signs of affection. I didn't say, "Oh, you love me." You should have though. That's your fault. So now it's my. You're a crook. You're an absolute crook. Be careful. <laughs> that's not. You're a crook. <laughs> how, how, it's when you don't do it. It's my fault. When I do it, or when I d when you. Oh, Cam's having a hard time today, folks. A ribbity rap. <laughs> when you... Oh! I can't articulate it. Uh-huh. I've, I've, I've arrived 17 degrees. I'm Look. crisscrossed. When you... When it doesn't... When it, there we go. When it doesn't happen to you, it's my fault. Yes. When I choose not to do it, it's my fault. When you choose fault. not to accept it, that's your fault. That's so stupid. That's a fact. That's so stupid. That's a fact. <laughs> We're gonna beat my ass? Stop. That's stupid. <laughs> no, okay, but you know what I mean? Like for why 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 is birthday sadness a real thing? No, it really is though. I don't I don't know. I actually don't know why, but it's it's like a I don't think it's sad on the on like the fa fatal part, like the morbid part. No, like, no, oh, no, no. One close one year closer to death. I don't think anyone no. knows like that, but it's well, like my family does. Well <laughs> You know how my family gets like, Go poke Malcolm. He said poke him. <laughs> Make sure he's still with us. In but I don't it's like I think it might be an, a mini adrenaline dump again. I don't have any adrenaline. It's like I wake up gray. Like I wake For up. For like you, a, that's like every Thursday though. Like a, at least two times a week. And you, you don't think, as a friend, as you somebody wake up I call, gross. you're like a second brother to me. Stinky. Past Preston, right? Preston's mm -hmm. my brother. You're my second brother. Yeah. Aww. You don't think that you should do something about that if you know that, right? You just said that to millions of people, right? What do I do? Help! <laughs> what? What do you want me to move in with you? You yes, said, I, <gasps> I have. A uh oh, don't get oh, her started. <laughs> that would have been fun, but it, it wouldn't have worked. It couldn't have. Um. Time. Okay. Okay. Also, in school, right? Do you remember? My lisp is really <laughs> punctual today. You know that wisdom tooth thing I had weeks, months ago? Yes. I think it's starting to pop up again. Knock on wood. Are you for real? Oh, yeah. You need to get them out. You need to get them out. Hell no. You need to get them out. No, because if it just braces. flames up and goes back down, you had braces. I'm getting so veneers. You're, oh, the way you just looked just cringed me to my core. You literally went like this. Watch me the whole time. You went, I'm getting veneers. And you like did some sassy ass like, mm, oh, mm. Dude, what's wrong with you today? Mm, what's wrong with you? Nothing. You're I'm happy. You're with a straight white grill. And you're talking about it's veneers. It's not straight. It's not straight. Smile. <laughs> That was the lamest, I got self most unconfident. I said, smile. You went, like, it's like Ruby. If I told her to show her teeth, you leave it. <laughs> smile. <laughs> smile. For real. They're straight. That didn't sound confident. They're straight. They're straight. <laughs> that didn't sound you confident straight at all. white teeth. You're trying to rip your teeth from your skull to put fake ones in for the rest of your life. One of the most. Wait till you're 60. No. That's when your teeth would be rotten and You yellow. think I'm going to make it to 60? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you better. But, well, one of the things I was thinking about, right? Remember back in school, right? Do you remember sure. school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember education. I was there this last year. <sighs> but, uh, on the other side. Uh, you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> you remember a game called Kahoot, right? Yes. Yes. Trauma. Why? Why? Because. Kahoot was my shit. But I would hate. Right? And this happened every time we played Kahoot. So I hated when the teacher would be like, Kahoot. And then everybody in the class would be like, oh my God, Kahoot time. Celebration. They'd pop fucking champagne and like confetti. And they'd be like, oh yeah, yeah Kahoot. Would you rather do a worksheet or play Kahoot? Worksheet. Because no one can see how dumb I am. In Kahoot, right? It pops up when the question, how many people got it right? And there would always it be- It doesn't say the name of who gets it wrong. It just shows you were the one. Also always the one fucking bubble, right? Always. And so everybody would be like, Always. everybody would be like, who's that guy? And I'd be like, yeah, right? And then, and then Trevor next to me is like, oh, it was him. His screen is red. No, I would always put my brightness all the way down and then like oh, hide my phone. Oh, you're an unconfident bastard. Dude, school oh sucks. And all the teachers out there, right? Hey, watch it. No, screw you. All the teachers out there that popcorn ask questions. Dude, I have crippling anxiety. But do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? I did. I did this whole year. You want to know why? Because to engagement, right? Yes. People, I get it. But I was engaged and they'd pick on me. They're, I would always look at the teacher and I would give them that, that eye, right? Don't pick on me. I'd be like, <laughs> deathly staring into their eyes. And they'd be like, 
Peyton, what's this one? And I'd be like, huh. See, but one thing I did, first off, I was teaching electives. Okay. I didn't do that intentionally. It was never to embarrass someone, ever. I never used this as that. But if the class knows you're going to pick on the same two or three kids that know the answers every time, the four, five, or six that don't, and they don't even care about being there, they will never even work, ever. They'll never try to do anything. So that's that's not the that's, whole. That's but, an outlying circumstance. I'm talking about no, my that, circumstance. That's all the time. You, that that sucked for you. That sucked. I don't exactly. Want, that's I don't, all I'm talking about. I don't need. I don't need you to go to Teachers but, Guild of America and but, defend them. I love teachers. Wow, you have a hard job. You don't get paid enough. Congrats. Don't be a bully. How about that? I have crippling anxiety. Even if I know the answer to the question, if you call on me and I wasn't ready, I will forget. And you wonder. I'm you wonder you. why I dropped out. You need to open up your hips. You have stored trauma. Not right now. Okay. You need to do stretches and exercises. Oh my God, you fishy bastard. Honestly, Cam, right? Oh no, no. How? I hate when you start with, let's be honest, or honestly. <laughs> because. Because you put me in such a corner. I gave myself a concussion. You put me, what, you hit yourself in the head? Yeah, three Didn't times hard. It. Honestly, right? If, if you love the gym. Yes. You love the gym, right? Yeah. You go every day. Try to. You're very passionate about the gym. Your for you page is all gym. Your explorer page is all shirtless, half naked men <laughs> posing. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's a fact. I mean, yeah, yeah, majority. And then you show me like we're in we're in a we're in a parking lot. You be like, please look at this, and it's a guy spreading, right? That's what happens. That's happened before. Look, he had seven plates on this. Whoa. Because that's look, insane. Seven. Great. You love the gym, right? You would you would never give up the gym. No. Okay. What if <laughs> every time you had to go to the gym? You had to put your nasal in my crevice and oh. sniff every time to go to the gym. Ooh. Would you still go to the gym? And what? how passionately would you sniff? What kind of a damn question is that? I have to sniff your crotch yeah, just to go the to webbing. a hobby of mine the webbing. and better myself. The webbing. No. I give up gym. You really? I turn into calisthenics. You go, Cam. So for calisthenics... <laughs> No, I give it up. I don't, I'm not. I'm not lining. You have to touch. I'm not lining your webs in your crease with my nasal cavity. I can, I can to just, go and pick up some dumbbells. My my mess doesn't have to be out. You, I, I, can I just would. Lift I up would a build. Bit. No, I would build a home gym. I'd do calisthenics. Something. No, you can't do any physical exercise. That's bullshit. You can't do any physical exercise without sniffing. Utter bullshit. I'm asking, dude. If that's the case, you put me in these six scenarios because. This is what I have to do to make sure you still love me. I do love you. Comment right now, does Cam love Peyton? Yes, Cam <laughs> loves Peyton. But to line his crack... Ask me one. You don't even like the gym. Anything. Okay, okay, yeah, here we go. One. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no, that's creepy as hell. I don't like that my mind even thought of that. Um, you're disgusting. <gasps> Ask! Every time you want to watch YouTube, you have to lick my armpit. Yes. How? Wait, is it a deep lick, like a ruby lick? Yeah. Oh. oh. A deep ruby lick, like a. Would you? Okay. Follow up. Would you give me the deep? <laughs> I like that. Would you give me the decency of or, like cleaning yourself? You never know what I'm doing. But since you love me, would you clean yourself before? But that's and not the point. And would you shave? That's not the point. My armpits will not be shaved. Okay. And you don't know what I'm doing. If I just came in from a hard day of labor. <laughs> <laughs> if I just came in from the gym and you want to watch YouTube, you can either wait till I bathe or you have to lick. Lick. Would you like give me words of encouragement while I do it? I'm not even, I wouldn't even enjoy that. So I retract my question. That would make me feel more uncomfortable. You're licking my armpit. That's not that bad. Okay, here we go. You either have to give up. Okay. Do it. Do it. YouTube or fast food? Holy <laughs> shit. <gasps> Oh my. That's his two apex meccas of pinnacles of his enjoyment. I'm about to expose myself, right? Oh my god. Apex or fa or uh uh, uh Apex. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> um YouTuber fast food. Okay. Can, before I answer this, oh no to give the viewers a, a lesson of how much I love fast food. Guess my monthly bill for fast food last month. Oh my god. Last month was I June. Yeah. You spent thirteen hundred dollars. Up. Not too much up, but up. You spent more than thirteen hundred dollars. You could have a second apartment. Eighteen fifty. <laughs> Dog, you could give me eighteen fifty. This and pizza I would cook, and I would cook every single meal for you. No, I have meals, but they become boring and they make me poop. 
That's good. It's cleansing you. No, but it's like a sour poop. What the hell? Do you is ever this? have that poop that stings a little bit? Oh yeah, no, mm. I know what you mean. That's not sour. It's like a though. thrill though, kinda. But that's not sour. Yeah, it is. It's more. It's like it's like a lightning. To I your, saw this question on a different. I saw this question on a different podcast, right? Can you taste your poop? Not like that. Not like what that. is he saying? <laughs> like when it's coming out. You're in some human centipede shit. Talking about can you taste your poop? <laughs> Honestly, dog. No, you smell it. Smell is, is like 70% of taste, though, so now I know what you're saying. I can honestly say I've never smelled my own poop. Like, every time I poop, you're I lying. don't smell it. I swear. You're lying. I swear. Not when I'm doing it. When I re when I re-enter the bathroom, that's when I'm like, oh, I, he was yeah, here. because you have toilet spray and all this other No, I, I never. I live by myself. Why would I spray my own? This is my oh, ground. decency. This is for who? Yourself. This is my territory. So you don't have enough self-respect. I'm bro. a lion, dog. You're, 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 I'm you know, a lion of this show. This is my territory. You don't spray your toilet, and you spend $1,900 a month on, on fast food. You don't have enough self-respect. Sometimes self I piss on my you walls. Don't this is like claim territory, dog. You don't have enough respect for yourself. That's I love myself. Is. That is, you, you can love yourself. You don't have enough respect. Like the when I, right, when I move into my new house, guess what I'm gonna do? Piss what? on the staircase. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Why? Why? To claim my territory, dog. It's already yours. This isn't the wildlife. Yes. This, this isn't Hunger Games. Is you don't your, have to claim anything. Is it's, your dog gonna be at my house? Yes. She smells that. Oh, this pain's like. Mm, mm, mm. Try it. Try or you can spank her little cute ass. I would never hit my niece. If she poops on your floor when she stays the night with you? And I hit you. I'd be like, fix your dog. You would hit me. Oh my, my God. Do you remember this? If my dog sorry, poops, you would hit me. Yes. Fix your dog. Be a dad. I would hit you. We'd be two fighting mother right in and front of you. And you'd lose. Me. No. Oh my God. You know there's so much open space upstairs? That's how you got to break it in. We got an MMA. We're going to get some mats. That'd be fun. Let's do it. That'd Patreon? Okay, do you remember back in college in Arkansas, right? When I came and visited. Mm -hmm. This was when Ruby was a wild beast. She was very young. Untamed. Untamed. Say. Very and, small. And our relationship was still on the rocks. Who? Oh, Me and, and Ruby. Ruby. I was about to say, we were pretty solid. <laughs> Your dumb ass went to an airport two hours away when there was an airport 36 oh, minutes from us. I don't know us. because I never knew Arkansas existed before you went there. So how was I supposed to know, oh, the O'Hare is closer to, to where you're at? I had to drive two hours through hills and bumps and rivers and valleys. It was definitely Liv. Liv. I drove you back. That's Liv true. drove to get That's you. True. I drove you back. Bullshit. There's an airport uh, spit away. It was, oh, at the time I was going through a bad breakup of that too. So I would take a video of the mountains and I tagged it on Instagram as Colorado to make it seem like she was missing out. And little did she know, I was in the asshole of America. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, back to Ruby and you being untamed. You remember, y'all gave me that guest room that y'all had, right? Yes. You remember that? And so me and Ruby were still on the rock. She didn't sleep in the crotch yet. I didn't really, I couldn't get her vibe. And she didn't really spend too much time around me. Uh huh? I leave that room five seconds, right? She doesn't even go in that room and I'm in there. Doesn't even say hi to me. Doesn't come by, hey, what's up, P? And like, make me feel at home. Uh -huh. Don't even look at her in the eyes the whole time. I leave that room for five seconds. Her little crooked ass walks in there and takes the most violent shit on my bed that I have ever oh. smelled. On the, bro, I knew she shit because when I walked into your house, I was like, oh no, there's either a body y'all are hiding or your dog shit. We looked the whole house. Oh, guess who she chose? The visitor's bed. I love Ruby to death. Hey, but she would, you know, if she could talk, she would be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, I'm so sorry. I, ha I had poo poos and I, I had to. <gasps> Speaking of bathrooms, I feel what like, I feel like. Speaking of bathrooms. I feel like if you, I've never used an airplane bathroom. I've seen Liv do it. I've never done it. I feel like that is a threat. They're so small. Really? So small. Right? It's like small. <laughs> I've never even. <laughs> hey. I've never even. Would you let me massage you right now? What are you doing? I've never even <laughs> walked on a plane, dog. Think of a plane. It's like walking on a plane. No, he, re he really does it. It's he really terrifying. does it. Both times we've been to LA, there and back, four plane trips that I've been on yeah. on flights with you, I've never seen him stand up. I once. won't stand up for shit. I've never seen But he's that kid. I had to poop during second period and I had to hold it all the way till I got home. I don't shit in public. I have decency for myself. Talking about decency, you I will literally go and bare ass to 7 Eleven. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my God. Liv, is his ass bumpy? No, my ass is not bumpy. Thank you, babe. She gave a little cheese. No, she thought about it. I don't know why. Uh, my ass is porcelain. Let me see. Why did I, why did I, I was thinking about, you see, I told you how he acts off camera. No, no. He gives me rhythm. No. You do give me a little rhythm. 
Uh, yeah, but I feel like walking on a plane is dangerous. No. I How feel, like, I feel like walking on a trolley or like a, a, a high speed dart is dangerous, more dangerous than a plane. I don't like walking in any moving thing. Mm. I like the ground to be still when I walk. You're not, there's no ground. Have like you ever, in a plane. yes, there is a ground. There's no, you're not on ground. There's a floor. <laughs> I'm saying like you're, you're in air. You're talking about the right. floor, like just the floor. That's the ground. I guess they could be synonymous for this, but can you say I'm wrong? Sure, I'm wrong. Now look at huh? the like, no, look now. No, it's not. Now look at the camera and say it. I'm wrong. Speaking of walking, Powerful. right? <laughs> Speaking of walking, have you ever felt? I I I I I I I went this. I I I felt this way the other day, right? I was walking inside of a Kroger, right? I was walking. Do you ever walk and feel like you're going nowhere? No. Are you sure? Like it's you're walking, you. dream, you're dream walking in real life. It's only you. Have a regular human experience, dog. I know there's a lot of people that see this and you want to be Mr. Cool Guy. I Relate not, to something. I'm not being cool at all. I can relate to sleeping, eating, lifting, funnies, jokes, movies. I have never once thought I was just... And not making No, progress. you obviously, you can see you're going somewhere, but you're like, I'm not covering as much ground as I usually do. You are in a realm of your own. You're in a realm of your own. One, the sooner you realize that, the easier it'll be for you. Do you know that? I was thinking about something else, but I forgot. <laughs> Fucking fidgety McGee over here. <laughs> well, but in that Kroger, right, whenever I felt like I wasn't walking, right? Uh-huh. I was doing the self-checkout because that's all the options they had. Uh -huh. I was in the self-checkout, and I, my intrusive thoughts have been, 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 been getting... Ri My intrusive big 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 my my oh my god my intrusive thoughts have been getting real bad to the point I I literally can't control them like there's no you know when you think of something before you say it and there's that there's like a tunnel system right it's like, like a small voice that speaks to the bigger voice and the voice gives it to your ears and then you think about it right it goes from brain to decision to mouth yeah right mine just kind of goes like it's just like You're a full like, flood Ew. it's like the dam has been broken. And so I was at the self checkout, right? You're just like, bitch! Oh. <laughs> like, you can't stop and think. That's scary. Yeah. So I was at the self checkout, right? And it talks to you. It does? Yeah. And so I was going, right? Blink, blink, blink. Put in my card just like that. I go and. <laughs> you never put in the card like that. I always put in my card like that. So the card's just balancing. Like this. You, and then I, once it, it gets a little firmness in there, I just push it up like that. <laughs> Is there something wrong with how I insert my card? Everything you do is wrong. <laughs> I can't tap. I don't have that function. Oh, yeah. He's like the d of 1812. Or hey, tell them my bank, huh? <laughs> Give them my routing number. 714, security codes 312. <laughs> so I, was, I put it, I put it, oh my God. So I put in my card, right? I put in my pin, right? I put in my pin. How long is your pin? <laughs> you just said I put in my pin? I put, is that your loyalty number? You said it says I've crossed my fingers. It says approved. It's like thank God. I take my card out. I put it back into my wallet. Then the voice goes, and she goes, "Thank you for shopping with us. Don't forget to take your receipt." I audibly yelled, "Don't tell me what to do to this machine." And when I say, everybody around me looked at me like I was evil. Oh, bro, it's getting bad. It, no, that that actually you might. There might be something uh, like, uh, yeah, trauma. So I don't know, some somewhere deep, I don't know, <laughs> like that. You were about to say something. No, there's something I want to do to you. You know that space between your eyebrows, dog? Yeah, I really want to go like that. <laughs> Can I? No, <laughs> please. It's gonna leave a hurt. Mark. No, I'll, I'll do it light, please. Why? Why? Why is that funny? Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh! Look at his spine. Oh my God! You're so scaly. Oh my God! The way that he just mounted that couch back. I mounted it. Yes. You literally went. Like I. It was like. What? My head? The noise? Huh? What? 
I'm going to the casino. Uh-huh. In the car. <laughs> I just throw up. <laughs> you like, you went, oh god, there's a car. <laughs> look, 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 here. Look, he said. Yeah. yeah, I felt more when it was. <laughs> you went, oh, oh, there's two. Hey, hey, my legs. Get, hey, get out of your car. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. No, nothing beats these. <laughs> It's so fu- it's so fucking hot. Yo, I'll give you five grand right now if you smell my ass. <laughs> hey, don't- that's- that's demoralizing, babe. I'm not sniffing your ass. First off, five grand is way too much. That sounded weird, but I meant like, I don't want- I don't, Two dollars! No, I, I don't want you to lose five grand because you know I'll sniff your ass. Really? You want on camera? It, I'm not doing it on camera. Oh, then no, it doesn't count. <laughs> it's a laugh, laugh. Wow. Holy shit! Okay, God, uh, it's so hot. It was if, way too, it's way too hot to laugh that hard. If you want to know, what, so if you want to know what we're talking about, it's on Patreon. It's a part of the casino vlog. I was making myself throw up in the car. Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, Cam. Honestly, dog, one a conspiracy I had. Right? It's not a conspiracy, but it's a question I have about life. Right? In the world. Okay. And I think I'm a smart human. Ooh, I don't. I don't. Oh, oh, you're an asshole too. Well, and you're an idiot. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know time zones, right? I get that. I get time zones. Okay. Pacific, Eastern, Standard, and Central. And Western. C- Central Standard. <laughs> there we go, degrees. All right. So, there's obviously different time zones, right? Yeah. So, right now, in New York, right? Uh-huh. It's a different time. I believe one hour. It doesn't matter. Okay. No. Yes. And yes. in LA, it's a different time. Correct. It's different times all over. Correct. Is it still the same day everywhere? No. So it's like Tuesday in New York. Okay, well today's Saturday, buddy. So there's <laughs> ne- there's not a 96 hour difference. So it's a different day. No, I'm saying for us and uh, like Australia, the United States- No, dog, I'm talking about the US time zones. Technically they would, uh, one, of the play- like, one of the coasts would hit the next day before the other one. So I don't get that. When did it start? What's the start time? So how is it not Sunday? What? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not Sunday because it's two in the afternoon. But I get it. The biggest difference is two hours, I believe, on the West Coast. Okay, but why is the days the same then? I don't get that. Why, who, why is it, how did, like, when did, who, how? You know what I mean? Like, at what time, like, they didn't have Twitter back in the day, right? No. What? So, like, now we can be like, hey, everybody, we're going to put out this mass thing tomorrow's Tuesday. Like, I get that. Like, if we were to start the, the days today, right? If we were to start the calendar week today. We could tweet out, be like, today's Monday, tomorrow's going to be Tuesday. Everybody would know. Why do you That's the new that? rule. Exactly. So when did it start? How did somebody in L.A. know it's Monday and somebody in New York know it's Monday? Back when they started the week. Right? Without, like, without the internet. How? That's a genuine question. I hear what you're saying, but it's almost pissing me off. <laughs> so I don't... Like, how did, you, like, how like did, how the, did the calendar become universal? Like, how did we like, all... how did everyone know, like, hey, today's Tuesday? It's like... Tuesday today. And how did everybody know that? That's a decent question, bub. Yes! But I don't... I did it! I asked a good question. That's actually really good. Thank you. Because it's way back when. Yes. But like, even I'm talking... I'm thinking... I go straight to like, say... I know. Sorry, but I know. You know the answer? Yeah. Pangea. Everybody was together. Okay, so but they had you a- think people... Not that long... Are you nuts? The calendar we go off today was not even in... The person was like centuries out of being born that even made the calendar we go off today. So Jesus didn't know it was Wednesday? So they just kind of lived, right? <laughs> like they didn't have no concept oh yeah, of that. B- uh, fun fact about Peyton, that's one of his deepest fears. Jesus? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, Ooh. not a person. Oh, is if he lived back in the day. That's one of his deepest oh fears. Oh my god! So like, we'll drive say to Arkansas. We've made that drive, and we end up on I forty. And basically, for three hours, you're driving in a straight line, and there's nothing but trees. And 
he looks and he'll randomly like I'm I kid you not we'll be driving and he just looks out the side and he goes dog like what yes and I'm like what did you see something he's like no people used to live like like that yes and I'm like, bro what do you mean he's like look at it like there's nothing there's no there's no entertainment there's no f- nothing like, friends you can't go bowling you can't go eat not even McDonald's. that it's just like there's no strategy yes there, there's a lot of no strategy. idiot there's no like there's then don't call me an idiot when you use the wrong word don't you yell at me there's no don't call me there an was idiot. no order back in the day there's so much order no literally they can just be like you know we got street signs we can walk like we know this take it right on on west elm street right yeah. everybody knows grass big tree try to take it right at the big tree yeah that's orders that's directions no it's not there's so many big trees. How do they know which one it is? They they had maps. And then how do they you go local maps? And there's no homes, right? You there's just, literally voyagers that scout the land and draw their best depiction of the map. That's how maps are a thing. You they had pencils back then. No, they didn't have pencils, dumbass. You think they had a number two sharpened pencil with an extra pink eraser at the Declaration of Independence? You're the one that said they wrote it down. Ink, feather, feather and ink. Where, how, where did they get the ink? They made it! You can make ink back then without a machine. How'd they make ink? From like squids and stuff. Oh my God! So somebody in the middle of I- Iowa was like, let me- Iowa! <laughs> they are like, let me go grab this squid for the ink. Listen to yourself, you're wrong. So you think they just, did, that writing wasn't a thing? You think writing wasn't a thing at the time of the Declaration of Independence? No, I'm talking before that. Oh, now you switch. That's it's real there was convenient. civilization in streets and everything. I'm talking about back in the day when there was just grass and trees and sticks, dog. Oh, when Columbus came over, when all those explorers came over, how do you think they made the maps? What do you think they did? I'm talking about before then, when there was no homes, right? When you look out and it's desolation. Yeah, they might. They they can draw with stone. It's on what? Stone. That's how. You, that's how you make fire. That's not how you make fire. I've never been closer to coming over there and smacking your hand. Stone almost, and st- almost as if you were a bad adolescent. You have you you were a boy scout. Stick your hand out. You were a boy scout. Stick your hand out. I was not a boy scout. Yes, you Stick were. You can out. tie a mean knot. I can tie a good knot, but I was never in the scouts. How did you make a fire in the boy scouts? <laughs> How did they choose you to make a fire in the stick, boy scouts? Stick your fucking hand out. Don't ever that How'd they teach you how to make a fire in the boy scouts? I was never in the boy scouts. I don't know how to make flame. They told you to go like this with with stone. It's called a flint. You can't pick up a rock and pick up water. another rock and go. Right? Too soon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, there's literally hieroglyphics in caves thousands of years old. And you think, ah, oh, they didn't have a ballpoint pen. Cam, you prick. Cam, I have letters from my high school girlfriend that are faded. I put them in a drawer for eight years. It's called preservation. They know how to do it. You know what mummification is? Holy shit. You're saying since... 1312. Yeah. Whenever there are hieroglyphics. Yes. God who just said, let's put it, let's put let's put that on some foil, dog. Let's preserve that. Foil. Exactly. There's no preservation. That doesn't There's make sense. There's different methods of preservation. Name three. Name three. Mummification. That's how they would preserve the bodies. I'm talking okay. about the hieroglyphics on the wall, dog. Stick on topic, dog. First off, what if it's it's f- it's faded because you threw it in your nasty ass Bakugan filled backpack? That's better than the wilderness walls, dog. It's in a cave. Wilderness walls. In a cave. There's no fire. They're, no, they're not throwing stones at it. There's no erosion coming down All on right. it. No water's right. getting L- on it. Listen to yourself, dog. It's in a cave. So if I go to a cave right now. Name two caves. Inner Space Cavern. That's one. <laughs> that was so quick. <laughs> that was a chess match. You knew I was saying that. <laughs> what? Cavern? What? Inner Space Cavern. I don't know what that is. It's in Austin. Like it's underground. And that you can lick the wall and it tastes like vanilla. That's... It's cold Damn down there. Weird. It's under. It was under my grandma's house. Rest in peace. It was under my grandma's house, and me and my brother tried to dig to it one day. Didn't get too far. You got about eighteen inches, probably. <laughs> Not even, dog. Because we had the little kid shovels. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> and then, anyway, so you're saying if I were to go draw inside of the inner space cavern right now, in fifty forty three, that's gonna be there. You don't know. If I were to go inside of a cave right now, there's there's no, writings no. on the wall inside the pyramids. And we, when were those built? Oh, conspiracy now. You don't think that they've been like, mm, let's sharpen that up. No. Bad. Bad. <laughs> there, there, Bad. Might, there might be, but there's definitely, when they found the Dead Sea Scrolls, thousands of years old, they were allowed and they took it to interpreters that still spoke the language. How long was it until they found it? Like how many years since it was written to when they found it? How many years was that? Thousands. 
I have a letter from my high school girlfriend nine years ago and it's gone, faded. Okay, your high school girlfriend probably wrote like an inmate. Okay, first off, she it's not- Beautiful like, pimmage it's, it's not eligible, it's not eligible. Eligible, legible. It doesn't matter. It's not the right word. It, she wrote it on number two pencil. Okay, she wrote it with a number two pencil. Or in pen, and On pen. a sticky ass piece of paper that you threw in your Bakugan filled backpack. That's better than a scroll found in the sea thousands of years it ago, dog. It wasn't found in the sea, dumbass. You just called the Dead Sea Scrolls. <laughs> Where'd they find it? Underground! Oh my god, Cam, you're so dumb. You love that, you love that. How did people keep things cold before refrigerators? Preservation, different method. They didn't. How the f how they heat it up, dog? The microwave, huh? They're hit number two and- With the sun! They kept things cold by digging into the earth. And they just put where it- Where it's colder. So they would eat mud meat. No, they didn't stick slabs of beef into the dirt and let worms get on All right, it. How they, they would wrap it up with certain things. What? Cloths, furs from oh, animals. Just because your simple 21st century mind can't understand how people lived back then. This all goes back to his fear. You see how passionate he is about it? He is terrified if he had to wake up and actually be a hunter-gatherer. Cam, I would last way longer than you if I was a hunter you and gatherer. Insane. I would last way longer than you if I was a hunter insane. and gatherer. Insane. Cameron. Insane. Which, if, which way is north? On a map? <laughs> from here? You suck. From here? No, you suck. I'm from, done. From here? I'm done. You suck. From right here. Yes. Where's north? Up. Not up! Give me a map. Where was it gonna say? That way. That's on the map. What would I have? Directionally, right now, where is north? Would I not have a map if I was a hunter and gatherer, maybe a compass? So they don't have, they, they don't have number two pencils, but they have a compass. Yeah, all you need is rocks to make a compass. Oh. We made compasses in second grade and we made them out of rocks, dog. What year were you in second grade? What, how it wasn't the 1200s! <laughs> I can tell you that much. Exactly. And you say they have worm meat that they bake in the sun. You live and in they, Minecraft. Shut up. You live in shut Minecraft. Shut up. And they had special pins I can write in the walls that it's going to be available for the public in 3033. No, it's a ploy for money, dog. Get out your head out of the sand, dog. You're a weirdo. Oh, when you're old, oh, you're going to tell the greatest campfire stories. You know, I was there when the pyramids went up and they, it's not real. It's a money ploy. Who am I going to tell? I'm not going to have kids. I'm going to die alone. That's so sad. sad you shouldn't have said cold. that. You should not have said that. That is sad. Give me a hug. It's true. Give me a hug. Y'all are going to abandon Will me you with your me family. Now. I can hug you? Stay down. No, 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 no. crazy. You just mounted me. You asked for it. Stop that. All right. <laughs> You should know podcast. Alright, Cam said he's got something for me. Oh, do I? Oh no. Buddy, I've lied to you. About what? About this surprise. You have okay. You're consuming something. I'm not eating anything, though. Oh, you are. No, Cam. Oh, but you are. I'm not eating anything. Oh, but you are. You've bamboozled me in front of the world two times now. It's your turn. My turn to eat something? Yep. Cam, I can't. You know I'm bad with stuff. You're good. You already look pale. You already look yellow. All right. Close your eyes. No, no. But is it going to bite me? No. Is it going to bite you? Don't put a snake in my hand, dog. What? Unless it's yours. There's no way you said that. <laughs> Shut your eyes. I am. Please don't hurt me, Cam. Please don't hurt me. Cam, 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 please don't hurt me. Open. What the hell is that? One world's, up. world's most sour gummies. Cam! Cam, I have bad saliva glands. Cam, I can't. I, I will spit everywhere, dog. <laughs> They're so bad. Cam. They come with a neutralizer for the water. No, dog. No, 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 no. Shit that comes with, like, helpful things afterwards, I'm not eating that. Auntie Ashlyn, can you do us a favor and grab the waters, please? You get, my jug is up there. So, no, no. Water bottle. Oh, there's I a water brought you bottle? One. I brought you one. <gasps> so, even though I should make him absolutely suffer in purgatory by himself I'm gonna do it with him so this is the one-up sour gummy challenge made by phase rug I believe um yeah people have not had the best of time with this so basically in this pack there's six extremely sour gummies I can't cam the rules say mix neutralizer with six ounces of water and set aside how much is six ounces? Is that like two cups? Uh, <laughs> I didn't go to school. Drink some of your water first. That's all I'm saying. Give me the other one. Okay. Drink some of your water. <laughs> oh, Cameron. Get it down to about halfway. Cam, I can't. Are you doing it with me? Mm-hmm. Yes! 
if you deceit me, you will die. That's all I have to say. Mine was pre-cracked. Somebody drank this. There's something in this. No, it's not. It tastes like a pole. <laughs> it tastes like, like it's got a little bit of iron in it. Go a little more. Get halfway. Okay. So you start with the neutralizers. You put it in your water for when it gets unbelievable to where your glands are falling off, you neutralize it. Kim, that doesn't seem safe. Is this FDA approved? I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> Neutralizer, anti-soured candy drink powder, bro. If they have to do like this, <laughs> it's going to be bad. So the challenge is it comes with six. The serving size is you pop three in your mouth and you try to not make a face for 30 seconds. My mouth is so wet right now. <laughs> you pop three in your mouth and you try to not make a face for 30 seconds. I don't have nothing to prove. Huh? I don't have nothing to prove. But because I knew you would take that route, my challenge for you is you have to at least keep them in for 30 seconds. Cameron, I don't like Neutralizer you. on deck. It's so white. Guys, it comes in like a vacuum sealed package. I don't like this. All right, let's go. Refer to detailed caution warning. Under no circumstances should anybody consume more than three gummies at once. So we're each going to take three. There's so we're going to do the max? Yeah. All right, open up. All right. Oh, it's so dense and heavy. Dude, the packaging, it's brains melting. <laughs> yeah, and this one, a man's skull is split in half. I'm lightheaded, dog. All right, here we go. I'm opening. Oh, my God, I, I messed up. All right. Take your three, put them in your hand. Take your three, put them in your hand. I swear, to, I will punch you in the mouth if you bamboozle me. We are doing this together. You're lucky I'm even doing this with you. I'm getting my timer ready. All right, I'm setting my timer. <laughs> I cannot. 30 seconds. I can't, Cam. We have to put these in our mouth. Keep them in our mouth for 30 seconds. Cameron, I can't. The goal is to not make a face. Okay. Okay? Okay. 30 seconds on the timer. Show, no, no, hell no. Show me your hand. You snur- Oh, my God, no. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Wait. Cameron. I got all three in my mouth. My hand shouldn't be glistening. <laughs> Neutralizer on deck. We have to stay 30 seconds. I if feel we, so wet. If we make a face, that's fine. We got to keep them for 30 seconds. I feel like my lips are burning. End, at the end of the 30 seconds, you have three options. Chew them, swallow them, or spit them out. It says that on the package. So they are swallowable. Swallowable. Bull, bull. How can I drink this? How many can I drink this? After you're done with Are it. you lightheaded? No, my heart is racing. <laughs> I'm a tad dizzy. Lie. My heart's racing a little bit. Okay, here we go, guys. World's most sour gummy. One up challenge. 30 seconds. I'm, I swear to God, I'm putting mine after I see you. Count, you just count down. Three, two, one. in my asshole, dog. <sighs> what the fuck is that? What is that? Oh taste my like? god! What is this? <laughs> Fucking cake batter in the day. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. It's so sweet. Oh no, I feel loopy. Definitely, definitely, way easier than the spices. But they were sour. Okay. Since you want to play that game, I'll give you $100. If you take a spoonful of Vegemite right now and you swallow it. No, I can't. I physically can't. <laughs> It'd have to be higher. It'd have How to be much? Higher. It'd have to be. I cannot Name swallow price. it. Name a price. Name a price. I can't swallow it, though. Okay, 30, 30 you could, seconds. You could tell me a million, and I can't, I can't swallow it. 30? I would fucking vomit. <laughs> 30 seconds for $100 of Vegemite. Hundred dollars. You hear my wife? Yeah. <laughs> up it. Up it. Would you do it for a hundred dollars? Thirty seconds of Vegemite. I can't. You get LA clothes. 
hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Did you want to do that? One hundred dollars for thirty seconds of Vegemite. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> so do you want to play games? I always got stashes here around the studio, hidden stashes for any time you want to do some corrupt things like that. A hundred dollars, thirty seconds of a full spoonful of Vegemite. I need more, bro. I'm not gonna lie. No, you already agreed. No, you already I agreed. Did not agree. Yes, you did. You said one fifty. Do it. Go to one fifty. No, you agreed. That's not how one fifty negotiation. One fifty. One fifty. One fifty. One fifty on the shake. This is agreement. Yes. No more higher. No more lower. One fifty. One fifty. Yes. I don't need it that bad. All right. You know this is gonna be worse. Come on. I got you some napkins. Actually, you'll get those when you deserve them. Thirty seconds. Give me a. Uh... Show the camera. Show the camera. Oh my god. It smells like there's like ostriches running around the studio right hey, now. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna need go get the trash can because it, it's second 30 seconds is over. It's going all in it. Go get, somebody get the trash, the trash can. can. Ready? Oh my god. Show the spoonful Dog. to the camera. Oh with my god. Spoonful of Vegemite. Here we go. 30 seconds on the timer. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, get a little look at the camera in the eyes, huh? Yes, mood on your tongue. Yeah, just hold it. You got 20 seconds left. No, 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 no. Show your teeth. Yeah, swish it around a little bit. You got, you got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. You got me. You no. got me. Oh my God. You got me. No, I did not. I did not. Wait, no, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Not yet. You got one second left. There you go. <laughs> hey, while you're at it, go some of this cake batter drink that you gave me to wash it down. Dog, I actually gagged. I actually gagged. Here, here. Ash, you gonna try? Everybody, make some noise for Carlos Kale. You bet you don't try to bamboozle me again. Look at my eyes, bro. <sighs> oh my God, bro, this is the. Oh no, Bubba. All right, we're gonna get. We're gonna let Cam take a break. Then we're gonna get Auntie Ash and a Mama Live on the podcast. The you should know podcast. All right, we got Auntie Ash and a Mama Live on the podcast. Round of applause, please. So, this, this this set hasn't been so full in such a long time. Cameron, chill You're right, out. buddy? Yeah, that, that shit sucks, bro. The veggie? Yes, it sucks. You're being dramatic. He's a very dramatic guy. You take it. Take a spoonful. Just I would never it. do that. Exactly. Breath work. Breath work? All right, <laughs> Wim Hof. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Knowing y'all's rationale, it's not the best. Ashlyn, you're leaving me hanging. Oh. I didn't know what that hand <laughs> sign was. And Ashlyn literally went, <laughs> No, we're supposed to just dab, we're supposed to just dab each other. Peyton Louie said, "Knowing your rationale and it's not the best." And Liv goes, <laughs> "Like, <laughs> golly." Sorry, okay, Payton. I have a "Would you rather" for you. Oh God! Oh, God. All Last right. Time we were here. Yes, I mean, me and Liv were on the same team last time, but I didn't like being lumped in that category. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, we're math. It's okay, Nug. Our math, we're up here. You know what I mean? We are idiots. Got a Sorry. You're not the best math teacher, as we all know. I'm smarter than you. You know what? Sorry. You know whenever we did that last challenge and we shook hands? I went like this after. No, you didn't. I swear no, to God. I don't care. That doesn't no, matter. he's getting that $150. What, what are we, nine? I don't care. You're paying. <laughs> no, takesy backsies. <laughs> Liv is going for that money. <laughs> Just give that damn money. All right. Now, okay. would y'all rather be stranded in the ocean or in a jungle? Ocean. I'm going to go with ocean. It's so fast on that response time. Ocean. You'd rather be stranded in the ocean. Yes. yes. Where as far as you can see in every direction is water. I was yes. I was on the swim team in the <laughs> okay, ocean. I was not on the swim team. Okay. But as far as animal wise, I'm not going in the <laughs> jungle with lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. <laughs> um, you just need to tread water. If you can tread. Oh, just <laughs> tread water. First of all, you're until stranded. The, until the National Guard just <laughs> scoops you up with the okay, little life vest. But there's right. more boats right. in the ocean to where people, people are like. in the jungle. 70% se of earth is water. Right. You're just out there. You know how many as people- As far as your 
human eyes can see is just there's way more Listen, boats that come by than there would be like you know people, people in the get lost safari in the jungle and how many people get found in the jungle oh uh, what is the statistic on that what is it how yeah, many do you how many yeah no oh, she doesn't whoa, know wikipedia knows ashlyn doesn't no, okay look honestly i know first of all live you can't swim i no. know that how do you know that can you no she yes i can't no, swim you, you do, my mom you when do we were kids little doggy paddle no 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 like, no, no, no. you're not gonna come for me Paige. Not, just because your ass can't swim we're not oh no that doggy my, paddle that doggy paddle just, that doggy paddle shit ain't working in the ocean i promise you that no she almost she said she said she said doggy paddle works in the ocean that's a doggy paddle is treading water do you think this is like a chlorine pool you think it's sanjin's backyard what do you think is you're in the ocean that current is going to swallow you up you're done it's a rip current when did what? you become Ocean 101? First of all, when did that happen? Are yeah. we together in this? Are we both in the ocean it together? What does it matter? <laughs> That's even worse. Wait, no, it's not. Well, one death or two. Okay, so oh my in the God. swim team, they teach you how to, you know, swim. So Ashlyn, you were never even on a swim team. Like, yes, it was. <laughs> Lane Tana Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to do? Laps? <laughs> Laps? Okay, I'm still. Why are you saying I can't swim, Paige? I thought you couldn't swim. You my almost mom. drowned in Mexico. You almost died in Mexico. No, I didn't, Cameron. We had to make no, it like 40 yards out to that white raft. And your, you ass you your ass almost drowned. Your ass almost drowned. You want to like turn Ruby. the pages on you me? You looked like Ruby. You looked like... Ocean. Let's get into the logic of this. Whatever. In the jungle, okay. I can find berries, fruits, yeah. trees. Do you know which is poisonous and which isn't? It tastes it. Hey, figure okay, out. you want to play poisonous? What are you going to eat? Yeah. Huh? Let's say you're just... Let's say you're, you're Aquaman and you can tread all you want. What happens when you're hungry or thirsty or there's a, I don't know, lightning storm. Or tired. Or 20 foot tidal waves. I drink the water. Yeah. You, do, you drink the so salt water. Okay, my thing is, we are not going to have to be like hungry because we're going to be found more quickly right. than you, you guys, guys are. How long do you think you can tread water for? 10 24 hours. hours. 10 hours she can tread water. She is an Olympian now. My, wa my wife just said 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> Olivia. You can't even sit still for 24 hours. Yes, I can. Don't come for me just because your ass has ADHD and you tapping and clapping all damn she day. I can point. sit still for 24 point. hours. No, she, that doesn't make her point better that she can do this for a day. I said 10 hours. Your cardio I is could, amazing. We could go into the ocean. I would throw you overboard. You would be gasping for help in under a minute. No. Oh my God! I give you. I, no. I, I grew up when I in go the to pool. Mexico, I, like it's a pool. I'm just saying. I was scary, a water baby. If, if shit gets scary, you grab the brick and you get out. No. Oh when my God. I'm in the ocean. I jump off the boats and do the little dive thing and the. Oh, with the life jacket and the no, crew around you and no jacket. waves for how long? For how long until you're like oh? Until we have to leave. I'm a little tired. Until we have to leave. Yeah. Do we have life jackets or not? Because you but said I, we're I stranded. Can... How do we get stranded? You How did we the get boat? there? I don't know. Okay, then we can have life jackets. Then we're straight, Ashlin. We are straight. Oh, you're straight. What are you going to eat? You're going to chew I'm on the life jacket? I'm telling you, I'm not going to need that because we're we are going to get exactly. so, so your sole stance on this is you're going to get found. Y'all have yes. no survival 101. Just, I have hope. I'm going to tread water. I just hope I'm a damsel in distress yeah. and they just save me. Oh, my God. What, are you going to shoot your flare gun? Oh, my God. She said, oh, what if a dolphin comes up? Hey, oh, hey, right, hey Ariel. fish. Hey, Ariel, it's not how life works. Yes, oh it is. God. Oh, you're going to go to the bottom and sing songs What are you going to say to the shit? dolphin? What are you going to say to the dolphin? Help. <gasps> Help. Ashlyn, we could hop on that fucking dolphin. That's and just. I said. <laughs> just this, oh, you're going to hop on the dolphin like a jet ski. Yeah. Like you're living in Miami and having a fun summer. If you you're can, in the middle of a treacherous body of water. But which body of water? Oh, God. The ocean. Why does it matter? In Hawaii, they have big ass sea turtles. If I threw you in a pond, you're dead. You're not no, treading. Not. You cannot tread water for 10 hours. We need to try this. Ashlyn, I, I would bet everything okay. I have ever earned that you can't tread water for 20 minutes straight, I, let alone 10 hours. I, I, I venture to say you I can't- I thousand dollars I could tread water for 20 minutes. Okay, oh, we said 10 a, hours! Bet a thousand you can do it for 10 hours. Miss Confident? You would turn into a raisin and be dead. Ashlyn. Okay, we want to hear y'all's logic because y'all still have not given us why I mean, the you jungle- You can't even sit in a movie theater for two hours without falling asleep! What does that have to do with the and ocean? you're gonna tread water for a day! Yeah, what focused. does that have to do she's with the focused. ocean, though? She's focused. She's what are you gonna drink? What are you gonna drink? Water! <laughs> Which one? The In the ocean! <laughs> oh, they did. Salt water, huh? If it, if it's it rains, still water! If it rains, she I'm doesn't gonna know the ocean. You don't no. understand doesn't life. Listen, you will die. Go under. Take a sip, nope, come back up. Oh, don't take a sip! And you come back up, refreshed and ready for It'll round two. Oh my God! So when it rains, you just float on your back with your mouth open and just. Let it we got oh, the life jackets. We got the life jackets, yeah. so that you never, oh. you never, um, you never clarified put. if we have life jackets or we have any of that. 
Okay, what's your argument saying we can't survive yeah. in the jungle? Yeah, what's against you the jungle? You guys cannot survive in the jungle. How? Why? You. You're nervous. I'm nervous, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I can't swim, and I have. So your reason is that he's nervous, and we're saying you can't tread for a day. You guys wouldn't make it. it. You guys wouldn't make it Why? in the jungle. Why? Cameron, Why can't can't, you, you talk about I can't sit can still. Cameron would go crazy. I'd go crazy finding survival materials, okay. building us. You ever watch Survivor? I See, mean, I that's mean, what you're going off of. You're going off of a damn TV show that's not realistic that's at all. You just hours. said you can tread for 24. You'd be a Ten Navy hours. Six Seal. Ten hours. And that's Ten fine. Hours. A Navy Seal Six Team Six. Listen. Cam was a Boy Scout. No, no the wasn't. hell he no, wasn't. wasn't. Ashlyn actually was a Girl, I was Scout. A Girl Scout. Oh, because tying knots and selling cookies will help you in the ocean. You know, we did more than that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Name three things you did as a Girl Scout. Learned how to sail a sailboat. Okay, that's one. You know, cook. Cook, that's cool. What are you going to cook in the ocean? Fish. No, no, no. Let her name the third. <laughs> she can cook fish in the no, ocean. No, 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 no. Name the third thing. Name the third thing. You know how to uh, put up a sail on a boat. Getting, Hold I don't, on. You can put a sail up on a boat. You can cook food. I What's know where the third? North is. And you know where North is. What the hell is any of that going to do for in you when you're treading water? Oh, you're just going to swim north until you run into what? <laughs> Greenland? Yeah. Until we see land. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all are gonna get eaten by the damn tigers and lions and bears, so it's okay. fine. Actually, naked and afraid is not accurate because they have people watching, making sure the animals don't get too close to you and whatnot. You don't have that in the in the. No one's there to like watch to. you yeah, back. Right. Watch your back. It's raw. No one's there to watch your back from a fucking dog. humpback whale either. You a killer are, orca. You they look at you and go, raw, look at that sweet ass. But the different, but the different that thing. That shit is free. Out. Your raw dog. That's not gonna put up any fight. My thing is, if my whale swallows us. The fish oh my god, what are, you're gonna survive? What are you, Noah? Is that yeah. the guy in the ark? No, Actually, that's did the you arc. guys see that article about the woman that was swallowed it's by chill. a whale? It's real and she survived because there was uh, food in this whale's stomach and she got it and she climbed back up out of the whale. Oh, there's just a little supermarket sitting there waiting <laughs> for you. You got a small studio apartment in the whale's gut. Yep. Yes. And he'll just pop oh. us right out of his little hole. Boop. Oh my gosh, she's shooting out of the oh, hole. Oh, you're going to shoot out of a hole. When they open their mouth, it's wide for the krill, so the krill can come in. So when they open it up for the krill, I Hey, just... Steve I was Irwin, about to say. Ashlyn, how many times have you even been in an ocean? Quite a plenty. bit. Oh, how many is plenty? Maybe Over six? Over 30. Over 30? Yes. How, which ocean? You don't even know, and Atlantic you think you're going to just get a krill appetizer, Atlantic and you're going to tread for a Atlantic day. Atlantic Question. in the Indian Ocean Question. I have been in. So you've been in each 15 times? Oh, so am I. Question. Roughly. That's a lie. It's Question. Not, <laughs> we, what? What's the longest you've ever swam? Mm, six hours. What do you mean, like? <laughs> you are a liar! What are we talking about swimming? Like, you in the like, water? Your, your middle name is Lie. No, Ashlyn Lie Singletary. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by swimming? Swimming straight. What's the longest you swam just straight? Swim. Like oh, in the two, pool? Okay, two hours. Swim practice. Ashlyn, no, you swim haven't. practice. Two hours. Ashlyn, if, a coach, if, a, if a coach puts you in a body of water and you swam for two hours straight, he deserves to be in prison. That's not real. You had a water break. You got up for the bathroom. You stretched. You did all sorts of shit. Show me your gold medal now. Yeah, yeah, Olympian. Okay, I would say okay, I've swam for like 30, 40 break, minutes. 30 minutes straight. Well, it went from six hours to two hours to 30 minutes with the well, water break. And you break. say you can tread water for half of a day. I did, but that's swimming laps in a pool for 30 minutes straight. No one said, no, we're not having to like swim I'm, anywhere. We're just hanging water. out in the water. Oh, you're just hanging out in the middle of the earth. <laughs> yep. As far as you can see, it's water. Yep. And someone's just going to magically pop up and save you. Who yep. talks like that? That's how, that's how I envision y'all. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, we're going to tread for a day, and then if krill come by, we're going to take out our little mini saucer plate and just put the shrimp cocktail on it, dip it in there, eat the krill. Yeah, and then it's we're okay. Gonna it's okay. Y'all can see us on the other side when y'all get eaten by the lions and tigers we're and bears. Get, people that get lost First off, this land, isn't the Wizard found. of Oz. There's all of those, the tin man too. All yeah. of those things are in the jungle. The final, the closing note is if we get lost in the ocean, they're going to find our body in some animal or they're gonna find us alive they're never gonna find y'all because y'all they gonna, just put no, millions of gonna, dollars of r&d research into this not, ocean and gate yeah, thing our, our and they run. lost them and they're gonna go find that you that was not regulated y'all are gonna decompose neither is the ocean y'all are gonna decompose in the jungle if you get lost yep Ashton, you act like there's like just search teams in the How ocean we just 20 try this? Let's, just, let's try this let's just Postcards. try this Honestly. you're gonna be a widow hey, hey, oh let's go to pool let's go to pool okay i have a pool let's go to pool shame is plug hey so y'all go, go to, to find pool. the jungle what jungle are you gonna go to where i was just in that doesn't in, even matter i was in i don't El even know the Yonke jungle in puerto rico somebody mute her mic <laughs> what the hell did you just say ashlyn you just said a disease but none, none nonetheless it's a rainforest in puerto rico look it up 
And you survived, huh? Pretty easy. You, it, you, was you simply, guide. it was with a guide. Oh, but you lost. just you just walked and you kind of just found lost. yourself, right? If you got lost, you wouldn't survive. I'm not saying we're gonna survive and I'm gonna build this amazing fortress and I just turn into that is Steve what you from said. Minecraft. You literally just said I'm saying we that. have a better chance of surviving no. in a jungle no. than you do That's your in the middle of the ocean. No. That's your opinion. No. no. Anything else? You know what? Matter of fact, if we were on a bridge right. and we fell off the bridge, right. I ha I would bet money you couldn't even swim to the nearest shore. That's Ooh. a fact. Both of you. Oh, that's a lie. We swim to the nearest shore. shore. If it's life or death, oh, death. Oh my God. <laughs> life or death. Hold on, hold on. I will swim to the nearest shore. How far is the shore? 300 yards. I could do it. Yes. We could take breaks. You still have to swim <laughs> during the break. Yeah, we can I take can breaks. Swim. You're just going to drown during the break? What are you going to call a 30-second timeout? Again, Draw back to what I said, plan? someone would find and me between team, that time. I used to do the mild lap. When's Ashlyn. the last time you did that? Ashlyn, what pool 14. What pool has the capability of you swimming one lap and it equals a mile? Were you say, swimming in a pond? Nope, that's not what I said. I didn't you, say that. Word, said, word for word, you said in swim team, I used to do the mile lap. That is exactly what came. There you go. That's better. You do laps, you know, down and back is usually one. Some, depending on the pool size, sometimes it's down and back four times to equal one full lap. Yes. <laughs> Honest, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. You've never swam a mile straight. You've never no chance. You've never no swam chance. a mile straight. You've never swam a mile. I will sign the LLC if you over ran, you. If you, ran, <laughs> if you ran the fastest mile you could run on a track, right. at the end, when you cross that line, you're going to be gassed, you're going to be tired, 100%. and you're going to sit down on your ass. 100%. And y'all mean to tell me that you could run that in maybe, for y'all, I don't know, I don't want to be rude, let's say eight minutes. You run a good mile, okay? 6.44. 6.44. First off. She's an Olympian. Yeah. Yes. Who are you? 6.44 is not an Olympian. I used to run track. We could go to a track right now. You're not clearing a seven minute mile. Yes, I am. We could go right now. Oh, I'm not. Ashley, I'm not even going to argue that. I'm we not. Can go right now. Now. Cameron used to have when to run my miles school, for me. We always had to run miles as warm up. Ashton, that was 10 years ago. We were not in high school 10 years ago. And I still run to this day. I can run a mile under seven minutes. She's an Olympian, dog. We have a, we have a, we have Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps in a body over here. Come on, fully confident in this. Next Patreon video, I'll run a mile under seven minutes. Oh, I like to see that. Okay, I bet we're she gonna did. push it to six forty-four. No, she didn't say that. That's what you said. She didn't say that. Oh, I thought I thought she, she said, said six forty-five. Six forty-four was the best recent mile I've ran. Yes. Okay. Recent? Is how recent? Hey, after we do Three that. Months. Hey, after we do that, let's find a body of water, and then see I want you to uh, tread for oh ten hours. Cool. <laughs> I want you to tread for 10 hours straight. You do the mile first. Ashlyn, if you tread for 10 hours straight, whoa, 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 if wait, you wait, wait, tread no, no. for 10 hours straight, I will simply take wait, a singular no. shirt, a singular pair of shorts, a singular pair of boxers. You can have everything else I've ever owned. Time out, time out. Before you respond to that. If you can tread for 10 hours straight. <laughs> respond to that. I will become a homeless nomad. Before you say anything to that, you said let's run the mile first. And then you'll get in the water? Like, we're going to do the mile video first. Oh, I thought you meant, like, back to me. I'm going to run my mile and then go get in the no. water. Oh, oh my, my God. I was, I, was, I was going to cause violence in the studio if you would have oh. said that. But yes, I can run a mile under seven minutes. I believe in her. Regardless, if you can, that's good. That's impressive. Good job. You're not treading for 10 hours. No shot. Track, I don't know who you are. All track athletes, whether you're a former track athlete or a current one, can run a mile under eight. Under I, I can't under do eight. that. Just because, especially if you kept up with running afterwards... At practices, we used to have to run miles for warm-ups, and it would have to be timed. Hey, I used to be able to dunk on anybody in front of me. If I tried to dunk by myself, now my well, knee shattered. When have you picked up a basketball? When's the last time you ran? When's the last the time day? you tread water, water under a time circumstance? I tread water every time I get in the pool. Ashley, no, you don't. No, yes. you don't. Ashley, Ashley is an athlete, you, dog. No, she's not an athlete. She's a habitual liar. So you were, you, All right, liar. Ashley, you were in a pool yesterday. Yes. I want you to look me in my eyes. Did you tread water yesterday? Yes. You're lying. No, I'm not. Ashley, yes, you oh are. Oh my God. Yes, you are. Why would you have treaded water by yourself? I'm Why? Just chilling, talking to my mom. She was on the floaty, and I was like this. Dog, I don't. It's I don't what? know what to say. When y'all get in a I'm pool, gonna you're strangle not, you, dog. You have to be on a ledge. I was just like this, talking to my mom while she was on the floaty. I'm a strangler, Ashley. I'm a strangler. Mm. No, no, you're I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna hurt her. Hey, <laughs> can we can we be your agent for the for the 2028 uh, Olympics? Yeah. Can we be your agent? <laughs> Facts. All right, guys, thank you so oh much for- Oh my god, I just got so lightheaded. All right, oh All right guys, thank you for coming to this episode of the You Should Know Podcast. Everybody make some noise for Mama Liv and Auntie Ashlyn one time. Woo!
That was weak. I it, it's always a pleasure when Thank you two you come so on. so much. <laughs> um, Sin, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Go for, check that chicken and lion video. <laughs> this is what we're going to do for the Patreon members to get y'all more access and more um, power on the actual podcast. We're going to have them on more. So uh, we want y'all to send hypotheticals and suggestions on what we should talk about. Uh, arguments against each other, everything, and we will only take suggestions from the Koala Club in the messaging box. So DM us on Patreon, and we will pick mm -hmm. one for another time. I'm not going to say next week. Uh, some you you normally do the astro. Yeah. All right. So um, yes. So like we said earlier, summer merch is coming very very soon. Next couple weeks, it's all getting finalized right now. Any questions you have, whether you're going to be a millionaire, whether you're going to have a dog, a boy or a girl, whether you want to find out some merch, any question you have, the answer is linked in the description below. Check out all the socials there. Check out all the pages, Patreon, our Instagrams, everything. Uh, karma for this week. That's a disgusting <laughs> That's photo. That's when I met you. Yesterday I met you. That's a disgusting photo. <laughs> uh, karma for this week. Our code is going to be OOJ. Our First ocean one to guess it. versus jungle. I said OOJ. <laughs> ocean or jungle. Auntie Ashton with the dub. Oh. Ocean or jungle. Leave it on close. all captions. Ooch. Instagram. Leave it in the comments. Comment. Uh, yes. We like Cam with the snapback like and tattoos. Snapback snap and, and tattoos. tattoos. We're going to have a bonus episode Ugh. on Patreon. Ugh. He looks like a backstreet boy. That all right. But bar. we love y'all. Thank you so much we'll for coming to this week. episode of the You Should Know Podcast. Bye. Remember, one out of two Glow Bears don't make it home to Christmas. And we will see you. What is it? Next time. What is it?